How many times did I t tell you not to sleep over there? Die! Hey there everyone, welcome back to more Raven 2. Now that we're back over here, near Clark's resting room or something, or where he's about to die. We're here now. Let's save him. Here, Clark. Here's the elixir. Thanks, little buddy. Yahoo! Now I can go catch a whole bunch of more pirates. Cool, but put me down first, okay? Okay, this is cool. Uh, whoops! <laughs> uh, also, um, if you, if you, th this is something I did as a kid many times, but if you go back here a second time without having the elixir, you're forced to go this way manually, and uh, here's basically a portal that leads you over there. Now, in the PlayStation 2 version, there were also yellow lumps that you had to get here, so you needed to get them on your second visit. And now we can take Clark with us, the Clark the Giant. Well, that's going to be nice, we can just play just plow through the whole game now. Well, don't get your hopes up, you only have it for this, the rest of this level. Well, not even the rest, just one little segment. Anyway, let's use these purple lumps, and then we jump up here. You don't even have to use this this purple lump right here, but you can if if you really can't make it. If I could get up there again, that would be nice. Anyway, we need to go through here so Clark can actually progress because, well, I guess you can crash through iron gates like that. I guess. Come here, you good friend. Come here. You can do it. You look so happy. Uh, oops, well there goes another wall. And really that's the old the old that's the only place where you have Clark in the level. From here you all have to do it for yourself because I guess he's he has too wide too wide of a body to actually go through here. So uh goodbye. In PlayStation 2 version it made more sense because he eventually went back to the overworld where his home was or something. Anyway, I'm gonna shoot you. Because I don't want you to be in the way. And I'm gonna shoot this. And apparently I shot the shell again. Oh, well, it's coming after me now. Okay, screw it, then... <laughs> okay, whatever, then we'll just let you go over here. Ow. And yeah, there's another secret area over here. For some reason, you can jump on those vines for some reason. That's to be another glitch or something. And now that we have 30, we get more health. Ow. Actually, before we progress, I kind of forgot to do this, but... Let's look at more of the knowledge of the world. Um, I might actually have enough for two more parts. I'm not sure. No, okay, never mind. <laughs> Three lumps, well, that's kind of wasted. Anyway. One day, the lumps focused their energy into thought, and their consciousness brought life to a strange and marvelous creature, Pollocus. Uh... And that is a typo right there. It says Paulucas, but it's Polocus, not Polucas. There's a typo. His, pi his power is such that his smallest dream become or desire becomes reality. And uh, well, in the knowledge of the world, they don't mention this. I'll mention it myself. Uh, because of his fir uh, first bad dream, the cave of bad dreams started existing. And because of that, he also created Jano, who is basically a guard. Uh, Someone who guards the Cave of Bad Dreams to prevent uh, adventurers or w creatures or travelers from entering over there. And the Cave of Bad Dreams is basically where all of Polycus's bad dreams go. And well, it looked pretty scary. 
I mean, there are enemies in there that you see somewhere else in the game. Well, except for the mini Janos, you don't see them anywhere else in the game except for one place. And, well, that one place is extremely annoying because it's actually, well, I guess I can sort of say. There, there are basically two versions of mini Janos. You have the regular ones that just breathe fire, and then you also have a stealth version that tries to sneak up on you while being behind pillars. And this is awesome, little cutscene before we end up the world. And instead of going into death water, we go in a portal that so happens to be there. Eh, what the hell, we'll do another bonus level, I have no idea. I have no idea why I'm doing these, but I just am. Uh, yeah, it, all the, for each uh, level that you clear, uh, the bonus level is basically different because you take different paths. I mean, that, that's really the only difference there is, and, well, the further you get in the game, the harder they become. As you might have seen in my last uh, attempt, I barely won. And he didn't trip there. Usually he trips there at the uh, end of that hill there, and I barely won again. Hey, look at this! Finally, our prize actually had a use. Because it got... Because it filled up those two hit points that I lost along the way. Because I got hit by a shell. And the next level is the canopy. And oh my god, it's Globox. And just as before, he has his finger in his mouth and as he had hung he, as he was hungry or something. I don't even know why they keep showing that, but they are just are. Okay, this first area you're going to get introduced for by a new enemy. Spider attack! Okay, you can. This guy has six hit points. You can try to kill him, but it's not very recommended because you're you're pretty much guaranteed to take a beating in the process. Ow! Or he just does that. Well, that just kind of happened. You can try to beat him, but uh, you will sure you'll be sure to take da some damage. I guess if you're really good, you can you can kill him over here without getting hit at all. But uh, even I can't do that. I'll just run. I'll just run for it until we get to the very end. Uh, you wanna be, you wanna be somewhat quick though, because uh, you know otherwise you have to deal with the whole thing. If you can, you can actually maybe lure him to go to the other side, so you... Well, he's coming towards me anyway. And I'm gonna fall. Well, I'm gonna fall again. Wow, this is like... Exact, this is like excellent... Gameplay right here, but uh... Oh well. Hopefully I won't mess it up that much in the speed run. You know, when I'm doing the race and all. Oh man, I missed the lum. Well, you know, to be honest, it would help a lot to kill this guy because even though you take a beating, if I take a beating over here, I'll be more so likely to fall. And he doesn't want me to get up. Go, uh, jeez, man, this is just messed up. Okay, over here, just run, and he will suicide. Now, actually, for a very long time, I thought he he went for a suicide, but he will actually return. You see there? He's actually there. Now, I did not know that until just a few months ago. I'm dead serious. I never knew that until a few months ago. That, that scared me, because I never knew that. Anyway, that was, uh, sure, a hell of a tough time to get through there. And there's Globox, and he's still doing the same animation as always. 
Anyway, we need to go through here and pirates! And almost death again. And trying to get this llama is a pain, for sure. But oh well, I guess it could be worse. And what is this over here? In person here is public enemy number two. His rain dance led to the rusting of several brave robo pirate comrades. Aw, they got rusted. Oh, how bad. So, yeah, they rust, so what? Yeah, Raymond is the greatest. Yeah, I'm the greatest, I know. Well, I am not, I'm not the greatest. Raymond is all who is doing it. I mean, he's the guy, he's the person who is the awesome hero of all. But what Columbus can do, he can create rain dances. Just like the description said, and electrifies the uh, whole security system around here. Anyway, going through here, there are some lumps that might be a bit easy to miss, but uh, not too bad. Okay, Globus, come here. Uh, I want you to uh, water this plant. Rain and thunder. Oh, what was no thunder? Well, that would be kind of bad. We don't have to create thunder clouds uh, on uh, above plants. That's not really a good idea. Now you actually have to take Globex with you, so uh, you need to get rid of this Band-Aid right here. And now he's ever so carefully going across here. Move faster, Glovox! Move faster! Well, really, it is not that bad because, well, in this game you actually have to use it to progress. And, um, well, it doesn't take that long. And, really, you only have, you only have to, you're only with him for only one level. It's not as, as opposed to Rayman 3 where you had him for the half of the game. Also, his eyes are totally 2D because you can see the eyes from his back, and when you turn around, they still look the same. It's it's one of those things where, where as a kid, I was trying to turn around the camera as much as I could to hopefully see the back of his eyes, but it's impossible anyway. So, it's like whatever. Whoa! Lovers is scared. Don't worry, I'll save you. You can use your hoof, you silly. What's the matter? Are you afraid? No, no, Globo's not afraid. There is no shame in being scared, you know. The warship and the pirates are very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Oh, if I had more of my powers. Powers? Globo's forget that. A silver lamb. They gave me lumps to make your fist stronger. They said, press space longer to make your shots stronger. Keeping space pressed makes my shots stronger. Okay, but I don't know what the space part exactly means, but I guess I'll figure that out. Also, this is funny. Yellow lump that's impossible to miss. <laughs> I love that, that, that's it's just so out of place that I put a lump in a cutscene that you can't miss at all. Yeah, for the world! There's a warship, and we have to take it on. That's pretty great. And they're gonna shoot bombs, 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 bombs. So many bombs. So many bombs. Ow. And a new pirate. This one has nine hit points. And it can shoot these white ranged bullets of some sort. Now, if you hold... If you hold this, you, um, the shot that you will fire is three times stronger than your regular shot. Also, now that you have a stronger fist, it will also in, um, give you access to a new power-up, uh, which we won't be able to see until uh, the level after the next one. 
Uh, yeah, Globox, it's safe. There's actually a speedrun tactic that you can do here, but I will probably not utilize it until the speedrun, until the race. But what you can do is, if you, uh, if you kill them, just go into this laser, because these lasers won't actually electrify you. Instead, they will just count as a hazard. And that way, you can just teleport right into Globox that way. Electrify! Thunder! Boom! Ah, there's another pirate! Well, this one doesn't have really have much invincibility frames, so there's really no point in... You know... Making charged shots. Hey, hey what? I guess when you're off screen, as he's dying, he will the animation will be frozen. I guess and there's a cage up there that I think I can't get from here. Anyway, here's a plant of which you want Globus to go to. Come here, Globax. Don't go all the way around you. Okay, fine. He'll come down eventually. Or he's just over there having his hand in his mouth again because he wants food again. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the last cage holds the last two lungs. I might be wrong because I think the because the last cage always has a teen C in it. I think this is the only t cage with a teen C that also holds two lungs. I might be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong, because otherwise I'll have to redo the level. And I don't feel like doing that. You know, if I can help it, I won't have to do it at all. If I just pay close attention to what I'm doing. Identification underway. Everything's okay. It's just a big nose bush. Door inactivated. I love that. A big nose bush. Okay, whatever. Yeah! Oh yes, I did have the last two lumps in it, thank god. I can't come home with you. My darling Aglan wants to see me. Aglan, his wife! We won't actually see Aglan until much later, but uh... At least we know that he's married, I guess. Yay, we completed another level, so that gives me an excuse to do another bonus level. Even though I think people are just skipping this by now. If you aren't, well then you're awesome. Well, he tripped at the start, that helps. I don't know if the tripping is like... Like, uh, different. Like, if, well, if there's a chance that he won't trip or that he will. I honestly couldn't tell ya. Maybe it also depends on how well you're doing at the start. Okay, are you tripping now? No, you're not. I can also see them getting faster and faster as I go, and those last two three, those last three that I just did were all uh, the same track apparently. And yeah, I got full health again. Yeah, well, you can at least see that the game is getting harder because I'm starting to take hits more. Well, then again, I took a whole beating of those spider of that one spider, so. I have that to blame on the spider, and I don't have to go back there anyway. So next time on Raymond 2 The Great Escape, we're going to the wall the, 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 the whale bay. What will be in that bay? Well I have no idea. I guess we'll have to find out next time. So see you guys later.